The difference between a 3% click-through rate and a 5% click-through rate can be the difference between hundreds or even thousands of pounds worth of sales each and every week. And the smallest of things can impact on how well your site performs, from the copy you use on your call to actions, the colour of your buttons, the placement of your links, the images you use, the font type or size, and a plethora of other things. That's why split testing is so important but it's also one of the most underused strategies by many affiliate marketers when they're trying to increase their website's earnings. If you're anything like me, then making assumptions about what people like is pretty difficult to do. I mean, I can't even get my kids dinner right on a daily basis and I live with them. So making assumptions about complete strangers is nigh on impossible. If it were that easy, we'd all be sitting here with 100% click-through rates, which sadly is not the case. And the only way we really can be sure that our websites are conversion rate optimized to the hilt is to split test. And today I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy tool that you can use to split test on your website. And the good news is that it's free to get started and it will give you more than enough to make some real actionable decisions about your website. I'll put a link in the description down below to get access to that tool but it's also pretty easy to get yourself through the plugin section of WordPress. So let's get straight into the tool and see it in action. But make sure you do stick around until the end of the video because I have three golden rules to split testing that you're not going to want to miss. The first thing you're going to need to do is to download the plugin and install it in WordPress. Next, you're going to want to go into your Google Analytics and find your top commercial pages in terms of traffic. If you're using the free version, I would suggest you run one test at a time and start off with your top traffic page for commercial keywords and choose a variable to test. In the plugin, you can and create your test and choose your page. The best variable that I find is link clicks. You can add URLs that contain certain words or an exact match and it will track all link clicks whether on images or buttons or just plain text. Now you're going to want to edit the variable on the page and choose a variable to test. For this test, I'm going to choose button color. Now I use a plugin for my buttons, so I'm going to create a copy of the button with a green color instead of the blue and see how that impacts the results. I've also added an extra button, which technically is breaking one of my golden rules. Don't forget they're coming up at the end of this video. And now we need to wait. So I'll give this a day or so and then come back to the results. So we can see that so far the test has been running for one day and 20 hours. And we haven't actually got enough data here to make a decision, but it's enough data for me to be able to show you how the tool works. So what we have is our control version, which was our original page here. And then we have our variant of this Spin Coffee Maker review page here. So this is the one with the green button, and this is the one with the blue button. Now remember, I also added an extra button in on this page, but so far the data is telling us that the green button and the additional button are not really helping. Now of course, there's not enough page views on this yet and this is just to, to demonstrate this to you. And typically I would want at least 100 views on each page to make a, a good decision based on robust data. And the more data you have, of course, the more robust that is going to be. However, we can see that with the control version, the click-through rate to the button or to one of the buttons was 7.14%. And on the new version with the green button, it was 5.26%, which is a 26.3% decrease. Now, if that continues over the next few days and we get to 100 views on both, and the data is still pointing to that, then of course I'm not going to roll that change out and I'm just going to remove that test altogether. And I'll probably run another test on another page and so on. Remember, when it comes to split testing, the more data you have, the better. And just because one page converts better with a slight change doesn't necessarily mean you're going to want to make that change across your entire website. And you would want to replicate that test over a few different pages, maybe five or 10 or 15, just to make sure that you're happy that that one single change is what is making the difference. And then of course you can make further tweaks and run other tests on other variables to really hone in on your conversion rate optimization 
and be happy that your site is converting as well as it possibly can be. Now in a second, I'm going to be giving you my three golden rules when it comes to split testing, so don't miss that. But if I've given you value in this video so far, please bop that like button and let me know that you like this sort of content so I can create more of it in the future. And so to the three golden rules, which I'm going to reveal pretty quickly. The first one is to only ever test one variable at a time. So I did say that I broke my golden rule in that test because not only did I change the button color, but I also added an extra button in, which if we were looking at that data, we wouldn't be 100% sure what actually made the difference. So only ever change one variable at a time. Secondly, and I've touched on this already, don't make decisions before you get to at least 100 page views on each page. So 100 views on your control page and 100 views on your variant page. Now Nelio, the free version, gives you 500 page views per month, which is pretty generous. I think it's a really good tool to use. But if you do want to roll that out across more, then of course you can get the paid version. And again, I've linked that in the description below, which is an affiliate link. And if you do use it, I'm very grateful, thank you. And my third golden rule is to try and run tests for at least a week if possible. Factors such as days of the week and times of the day can all have an impact on your click-through rates. And so you want to eradicate these variables as much as possible by running the test for as long as you can. One thing that you probably will want to test when you're A-B testing is the inclusion of affiliate comparison tables. And I've created this video here for you to help you create them using some free tools. It's really good, so you might wanna check that out next. Guys, thank you very much for watching and good luck with your projects.